uh, probably and meanwhile i think I'll, we can start i mean prashant if you have any query you can start doing and uh, maybe if you can introduce yourself or uh, let me know like uh, if there is any challenges you guys i mean you are facing while uh, preparing for cism we can start i think ha uh, hi uh, so Yeah. Uh, Shailendra, I'm audible. Yeah, yeah perfectly audible. Yeah. So, myself, Prashant. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I'm Prashant, and I'm working for Capgemini, and uh, currently I'm working in the network security operations, and uh, you know I'm aspiring, aspiring to complete my CISSP earliest possible. I, um, no, I'm I already done with my classes with Isaka Mumbai chapter. and i am last stage of the preparation and uh, you know brushing my concept uh, about uh, what i learned so far and what is more important and closer to the uh, exam point of view so that's what my a uh, quick introduction uh, and um, regarding uh, regarding any uh, 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 any question specific question i am uh, i'm still with chapter 1 and chapter 2 i am i'm concentrating more because that's where more more of the confusion is happening between the strategy governance and things so uh, by looking at the question so i'm i'm you know making it uh, very strong so that's currently and if you can cover some tips and tricks about chapter 1 and chapter 2 i really appreciate that all right thank you so much let i think me... that's what yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, see, I will, uh, uh, I will, I will tell you some tips also, and uh, how to uh, make sure that uh, you will be, you know, in a confidence while giving the exam. Uh, by the way, let me welcome uh, uh, Tech Techno Consultant Academy team. Uh, hi, uh, how are you guys? I think uh, if you can name your uh, identity, then that will be fine. Anyway, so Prashant, see, uh, chapter number one and chapter number two, if I remember correctly. Uh, for CISM that contains around uh, 53 pages for chapter number one and uh, chapter number three is 72 pages. Chapter number two is 57 pages. So first of all, you need to make sure. I mean, by the way, have you booked your exam? By the way, I have not booked, but I have planned to book on 31st. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, th- 31st or 1st of november that's two dates in okay, my mind of, right now okay and i i already blocked my one week uh, uh, leave plan from my office so it just matter is to uh, a book but i think i'm planning this booking this week coming week actually uh sorry you said 30 of november uh, december right no 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 uh, this month october uh, okay current month 30th october Oh, yeah, yeah, current one. Okay, okay, okay. Then it's fine. Hmm. See, first of all, uh, see, you need to understand the uh, the pattern they are following. See, I think thirty percent is coming from chapter number three, and twenty nine is chapter number two, and twenty four percent is only chapter number one. Now, the pattern they are following is they are more focusing towards chapter number three. The reason being that include the execution. now if you are mm-hmm. if you are very much clear for chapter number 3 which is actually very lengthy what i experienced around 72 pages and it's actually so many repetitions are there so i would recommend yeah yeah yes go, go by chapter number 3 then chapter number 2 and then chapter number 1 and in the last chapter number 4 which is our incident management now coming to your current preparation if you are good in chapter number 2 which is risk management or 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 understanding the risk mm-hmm. or uh, see risk is something which covers whatever you have planned or you have proposed to the business in our chapter number 1 which is governance and what you are going to execute in chapter number 3 is something which is uh, uh, covering chapter number 2 which is risk now the question comes is not like about what kind of a risk we have and how we do uh, i mean they, they will be giving giving certain certain situation and and ask you about if it's going to mitigate or avoid or transfer or whatever questions comes in a way that you will be asked for making a link 
between multiple chapters and you need to find out out of four options which option is covering the other three in fact i experienced there were questions where option number c is correct i mean first of all all four options are correct in most of the cases and questions are very easy questions is easy options are confusing and is difficult to select the reason being all possible options are uh, looks like correct now here you need to understand ki if c is covering b and d then c should be correct and now a option is something which is giving some other, another tangent they will be giving some other direction so another thought process so then you need to think if is coming from chapter number 1 or chapter number 2 or chapter number 3 what exactly the pain point of that question or i would say what will be the keyword of that question so based on that you can think between a and c so basically in short you will be solving one question two times first you are selecting the best out of all four or if there is any odd man out see that is uh, there is a myth that your uh, uh, two options are uh, uh, or absolutely straight or straight away you can uh, you know uh, remove it and you need to select between the rest of the two no that is absolutely myth all the four options are correct so you need to find out the linkage and which option is covering the other two because you need to find out either they mention the best or most likely or no you need to select the best now the way of uh, uh, learning or understanding chapter number 1 is understanding your uh, 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 your uh, uh, environment i mean of course cap gemini is a big company so you understand there are three levels one is board of directors like the topmost management who actually uh, 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 take care of the finance who know uh, who are more interested in profit and loss i mean if you go and propose the best solution in cyber security they will or may may not uh, uh, you know uh, accept this if you propose them saying that hey this if you go for this solution this will increase the brand value this will increase the business and this will give you more profit they are interested in those and those are the person who only and only uh, uh, understand the profit and loss part they are the person who involve in designing writing or or uh, or circulating uh, or um, maybe creation of the policies right so they set the goals they set the objective of the organization or the business they are least bother about the security solution they simply ask what you need and how is going to get benefited for the organization right so that's one that's the first layer second layer will be the steering committee or or sterco uh, meeting will be having those contain the business unit head for example one company contains uh, uh, multiple business one is finance one is let's say marketing one is some other research part or something now if you are proposing any solution for that you require to have at least a basic understanding of what as is process in that organization and those detail can be uh, 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 can be uh, uh, gathered using multiple techniques one is first of all you can assess by your own based on uh, your own links your understanding uh, in the environment culture and all and the best way the best way to find it out is to connect with the business especially business head because those are the person who know the pain area of that business now if you propose certain solution to them or you discuss with them or maybe if you can ask him hey uh, if we do this kind of a thing or any let's say you know uh, uh, let's say they are saying there are cases where you know attacks happen uh, uh, during the pavli or or any festive season and we got a loss of these many crores or something then you can say we we can implement uh, some Uh, intrusion prevention uh, preventive systems that can detect ddos attack or something and we can uh, uh, we can mitigate this then they will they will say okay how much is the cost so like that first to convince with them these are the person who approve the solution right so sterco meeting uh, uh, or sterco heads are or the business heads are the second layer 
थर्ड लेयर इज यू यू मीन्स इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी मैनेजर हुवर इन्वॉल्व इन एग्जीक्यूशन दे ओनली प्रपोज आई मीन वॉट आई थिंक इज लाइक वी आर लाइक समाइम से कृष्ण भगवान we never do anything by our own we just guide him we just uh, give the best solution and with uh, with different prospect of uh, uh, of negativity or, uh, or or any profit or loss and thing or if there is any positivity if we are proposing a go ahead for that session so these are the few things which you have uh, you know in uh, in your thought when uh, considering for the first chapter which is governance and you know what when i am saying this you try to link everything in 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 a fractions of second if i'm if i'm using word business case immediately what are the things we are covering in a typical business case and i mean these things comes yeah. immediately in your mind when you say business business case the very yeah. first thing which is very 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 important is you have to know the need and wed need need is a very important thing whatever the best solution you will mm. you may propose you know the scope you know the existing culture you know the big profit loss everything but if it is not at all needed for the organization it is not going to approve right even mm. uh, uh, you may get a question like uh, uh, a business has straight forward rejected your uh, your proposal or business are uh, 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 having very tight uh, uh, budget uh, schedule this year and uh, they are uh, they are showing some resistance then what will be your best uh, uh, then then what will be your approach what will be your best approach kind of thing so in that case uh, i mean you under, the the very first obvious question is you need to you need to analyze the current risk existing risk if we don't go for that if that is comes under our acceptance uh, acceptable level or at least Uh, we can tolerate uh, uh, the risk then we can go for that mitigation otherwise we can propose the consequences by showing some financial aspect like you will be having these many of losses if this happened during uh, normal period or if this is these many figures but if we, if it's happened a disaster or any kind of attack happened during the previous season or at all then its management call is board of directors call if they are going to take it or not you need to keep reporting you need to keep them informed that's the only uh, a role you supposed to play you never require to execute by your own you never involve in any procurement that th these are the things covered in under uh, chapter number 1 so all the things are linked so uh, let me just uh, quickly i have a, i have a book with me just a second let me just quickly uh, go through if i'm missing anything uh, yeah they they may also uh, uh, ask about a certain framework i mean they they may uh, so, sorry not in question but uh, uh, i saw in some dummy questions they may ask about certain which one is a good framework but i'm sure these kind of very basic questions may not ask but uh, this may give you confidence that you know the actual framework and all about uh, yeah the outcome and importance of information security governance these are the very important things and uh, let me tell you one important thing uh, uh let me just re read one sentence which i actually uh, marked in my book uh you must understand the policies what do you mean by policy what do you mean by standard procedure and guideline let me tell you one uh, these things very quickly uh policy is basically a high level uh, organization intent for example Um, uh, there is a policy that uh, safety first, human safety first. That is a policy. Policy may uh, uh, may include certain things which is very uh, you know high level, very straightforward. That you need to consider as a requirement for for writing the standard. Now, standard is something. For example, in in a factory, there is standard that uh, wooden. Uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, we should use use a wooden. Uh, uh, I forget the hatori. Ko kya bolte hain? I forget the name. Hammer. We should use a wooden hammer of ten cent, ten uh, inches or twenty inches. That is a boundary of the standard, right? 
so in every factory there is a 20 inches of hammer wooden hammer that comes under standard now if there is any change or any requirement change or business requirement this may increase to uh, let's say wooden to iron or wooden to or 20 inches to 25 inches and all so standard may change but policy saying safety first safety is always uh, uh, high level and is rarely changed because that's the intent of the organization that's the intent of the management so policy rarely change standard may change now coming to the procedure procedure is saying to nail you need to uh, uh, pick up the hammer on your right hand side and uh, put the nail on your left hand side and then you need to first ham uh, ha hammer it gently and then maybe forcefully so these are certain steps that comes under procedure now the question comes if in case uh, uh, like uh, where you find the uh, uh, the best requirement detail of any uh, of, of any you know any solution that you can find it in procedure because procedure contains the exact requirement how to execute so procedure is a very step by step process procedure should be very clear simple and easy to understand now fourth one comes as a guideline now guideline is an optional it's a choice for example on the same example if i'm saying while nailing if you uh, uh, if you have a uh, uh, let's say iron gloves on your left hand then that will be recommended that's the guideline you can nail without that gloves also but if you if you put uh, gloves or iron gloves on your uh, uh, left hand while nailing that may give you extra safety so guideline is uh, optional you can execute you can do the things without following the guidelines as well but it may recommend to follow the guideline so these are the things you should know now you if you can read the book you can find out or you can relate the these four things this is without knowing this is is going to be or, or without having clear cut objective or understanding of these four things is is not recommend to you know go for this exam uh yeah i just covered and board of direct uh, sorry one more thing you must understand that sometimes uh, ciso consider as a uh, ciso and information security manager uh, more like uh, uh, plays a similar role in some questions but sometimes ciso and there there is a difference between ciso ciso is a, is a higher management with some authority with some power right for taking any decision or no so the, the, you for the, when these things comes if there is an if if it's written a role of a ciso or if a role of a information security manager you should i mean always think ki like what exactly a question is asking about if it's if something where it's some decision uh, uh, is coming which is expecting from the security manager or something then that will be then your role will be ciso and all one more important point in chapter number 1 is board responsibility if any disaster happen if there is any breach happen or if there is any data loss or anything any any lawsuit or anything happen then in that case board of the uh, uh, the lawsuit or any uh, lawyer will uh, will caught the neck of uh, uh, a board of director they are responsible right so responsibility is totally on board of director whatever uh, any disaster happen similarly uh, 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 who who are the accountable and who are supposed to inform you should understand all these things while uh, covering the first chapter i think uh, these all our things uh, you can find it on uh, chap chapter number uh, i mean sorry figure number 1.4 relation of information security governance outcome to management responsibilities my voice is coming correct right prashant yeah i, I have gone through your video especially on this uh, roles and responsibilities it was okay it is very much clear explaining the things but i'm uh, no, i, I this is this topic is clear roles and responsibilities perfect and clear i was uh, when 
I was confusing between the the policy and procedure, uh, policy and standards, because uh, you know I attempted some uh, sample question as well, but I still uh, could not able to make it out. I mean, uh, means I understand the conceptual understanding of the policy, but the question in the question bank was so tricky that uh, could not able to get it right. Uh, that's the reason I was uh, even I asked in a separate chat with you. That uh, okay. now we plan to prepare some very specific on the policies and procedures because I think that is the heart of the thing. Uh, achha, achha. Uh, Prashant, just, just let me just pick up a call. I think somebody is calling me. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Please, yes, yes. Ha ha. ओके सो असी पॉलिसी एंड स्टैंडर्ड्स आर वेरी आई मीन इट्स वेरी सिंपल इफ यू जस्ट लुक आउट द पॉलिसी मींस पॉलिसी इज द इज समथिंग व्हिच इज व्हिच शोइंग द मैनेजमेंट इंटेंट व्हाट मैनेजमेंट इज लुकिंग फॉर इफ यू कैन गिव मी एन एग्जांपल प्रॉब्ली आई कैन हेल्प यू मोर आई मीन इफ यू रिमेंबर एनी क्वेश्चन और समथिंग आई कैन ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन यू और मे बी आई कैन क्रिएट अ सेपरेट वीडियो ऑन दैट see policy whenever it comes to policy that is only only an high level statement simple statement and a, and a generic statement policy never be a a, a a a very granular level one policy contains multiple standard s1 s2 s3 s4 right and a standard are something which have a specific direction as i said uh uh, uh a uh, standard may be uh, saying that uh, you need to uh, i mean every factory should have these many accessories must uh, every every uh, foreman should uh, uh, should wear these kind of orange dress or something these are some standard which every company has to follow so so you can just uh, try to understand the, the the layman language then try to relate and try to solve the questions If you go, if if you try to understand policy and standard using your own IT uh, experience, then probably it's it's tough for you to relate. But the concept should be clear if you just try to you know see the broader level. Probably I, I I'm trying to understand most of the things you while while you know uh, having any construction uh, or any any factory example kind of a thing where I I can relate. Okay. I I never try to relate with my IT environment because one person is doing multiple things. They may they they are uh, you know sometimes <laughs> involved in it. Sometimes plays a role of it. Security, I mean, functional security measures. Sometimes they are executing. So it may be difficult for you to relate. So the, I mean, uh, I think one more point here I want to say is like whenever you are doing this, or I mean, you try to do what is mentioned in the CISA manual. Don't try to. Uh, uh, follow what you are doing as of now in, in the organization. Always try to think mm -hmm. the the framework, the mindset. What see some book is see some uh, review manual, 15th edition is reviewing. Because sometimes it may happen that in your actual practice things are not like that. So you may uh, uh, go for the wrong answer and all. Yeah, I think that's all for uh, information security governance. Yeah, you must also understand the prevention, preventive, containment, detect, uh, deterrent, reactive, all these things, and also this Atma. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Atma avoid, uh, transfer, mitigate, and uh, accept. Right. So these are the very important point. Atma, you should know when to, and what's the meaning of deterrent control. there is a minor difference uh, between all these things deterrence is not a preventive it only uh, you know warn deterrent whenever deterrent come always remember there is a fencing uh, uh, fencing on uh, let's say uh, any jail uh, wall and uh, dogs are barking like that so th that that is deterrent control they only warn you hey don't come if you 
this is a restrictive area don't come here deterrent never stop even there are cases people jump uh, from the jail wall also right so deterrent never stop they warn you right i think there is a gap analysis yeah gap analysis is one of the very important point people uh, used to say okay what will be your first thing they will give they they give the some, uh, some they give some example and then say uh, uh, it's happen uh, in certain certain organization and what will be your uh, uh, first first thing then you can say we need to understand the uh, as this process we need to find the gap analysis and also gap gap analysis is one of the very important thing okay i think, I think these are the uh, few things which you consider while reading the first chapter now i'm coming to the chapter number 2 information risk management okay if you have any question in in this chapter uh, chapter number 1 let me know uh just a sec there is one uh, top miss there is one question i seen a balance score card or something which i haven't found in detail uh, in a practical understanding of that balance score card acha just a second now uh somebody is chatting on uh, youtube also just a second Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So balance scorecard is uh, uh, basically what I mean. Is it, see, balance scorecard only once these things comes, you have to think two things. One is what is your actual ask for actual existing setup or actual solution, and what is business need. How is going to fulfill the uh, business requirement? Business is asking you to give me a solution. which help me to increase the profit by let's say 10% or 20% now you are giving a solution that is costly and giving the profit of let's say 8% so uh, so so this is not a balance so they will say ki bro I, my asset is uh, less costly than your solution why should i go for your solution so you need to make a balance between uh, uh, your uh, your solution and uh, uh, the business requirement so those th- so whenever these things comes organization requirement and the solution balance score card is the one who give you a picture that as of now the risk is uh, falls under criticality of level 5 and if uh, and then again there are you know risk register which you, which helps you to identify the exact a uh, detail of the risk and all and if you propose or if you put the solution then how is going to uh, you know uh, uh, come down to let's say uh, level 1 or maybe low or medium and that to our acceptable limit you need to create a heat map also uh, uh, while proposing this kind of a solution so that you can say now uh, 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 the risk is under uh, you know in in red uh, red area but if we propose the solution then probably it may come under amber or maybe down the line after 6 month or one year it may go to white area so there is a heat map also so these are the few things which you can uh, use while writing the uh, while making the uh, 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 balance scorecard balance scorecard questions only comes uh, 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 just like uh, giving a certain situation they won't ask you or they won't give any example or maybe any matrix kind of a thing and identify you to give the balance code card number or something hello hello yeah there uh, yeah i was seeing a little lag so i had stopped my video that's why oh, okay okay no problem i'm here listening okay so, yeah let me let me know if i missed anything um, i mean i hope, hope i'm I hope you are able no, to no you are uh, no i'm able to listen yeah, yeah. so uh, that's the only basic that's the only thing you need to just understand it's not much i mean 
balance scorecard is uh, they are not going to ask very thing anything different. see the only thing prashant is see they 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 try to analyze how you react or how you analyze or how you interlink any question between multiple mm. domain if you are able to find that question will be very easy for you mm. believe me otherwise okay. you, may, you may you may think of option b which is of risk but he is actually talking about incident management incident management is also a risk right if it's not uh, happening perfectly mm. so you need to identify which mm. this i mean what's the linkage between this question uh, i mean for this question between multiple domain domain 1 2 and 3 talk okay. you need to find out the mm. keyword what is what mm. question is asking what is the pain area of this question and believe me is it won't take much time i'm i mean the way i'm saying is seems like is is taking long but actually is won't take when I, i was giving exam i i completed in 3 hours and uh, almost mm-hmm. one hour one hour is extra out of which almost almost uh, 25 uh, uh, maybe it's not the right forum to to to, to, to mention all these things but uh, i'm just quickly explaining you a few things like 25 question more more than 25 questions i marked as a flag and uh, out of that almost mm. 10 questions i change my option 10 questions can you believe people used to say don't change the option you whatever you think things comes into your mind very first thing that will be your first answer no in my case it's never happened i mean 10 questions i changed okay and there is also yeah. myth okay. that the, yeah people say uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, go back and uh, 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 change the uh, what is say the revise all your questions and all I, i i did uh, in my case i never did i mean my my intention was i am see when i was giving the question in my first go my intention was i will not come back to see these questions again that's my intention mm-hmm. and in worst case if i'm actually tired or actually i'm not able to uh, you know correlate or something then only i i select that as a flag and by the way are you thinking for giving a proctor or uh, going on center 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 then is fine i got one reference yeah yeah no i think the other challenges are more <laughs> maintaining elect, uh, especially internet is the biggest challenge i think so uh, that's the reason i don't wanted to take the risk how long it will take i mean uh, how far it's from your home to center i'm staying in vasai and i have to reach to andheri So it oh, is two and half. You told me two and half one way, right? Two and half hour. Yeah, because of no trains working, na. So it will be hectic little. And uh, what's I mean? Uh, any, any time you are thinking? I, I mean, th- I think I know. I consulted with one of uh, colleague who attempted uh, from the that same center. They start at nine and the exam run till one. So I think I'm in the same slot. I'm good to book because they have only one slot available. Nine to one, uh, and all the days are there open. Nine so to one. So I do actually start little early from home. Yeah, four hours. So I be I should be there by eight eight thirty, so that I can start at nine and close by one. So that means you will be uh, leaving home somewhere around six, right? Yeah, somewhere six. <laughs> that means you need to wake up somewhere around four thirty or five. right mm. yeah uh prashant this is something you need to think very very uh, uh, uh very deeply in the sense that your body your mind is not in that practice to wake up at 4:30 and that to traveling for 2 and a half hour i will show you one thing prashant let mm-hmm. me let me share my screen uh actually this is very important i want to show you just again okay i am sharing my screen are you able to see an excel sheet now yeah i am i'm able to see your screen see the, see this is the plan uh, maybe since you are already you know close to the exam so i'm not going to share all this strategy and all but i will share you one thing hmm. see if your exam date yeah. let's say on 22nd march 20 i'm just giving an example then 21st march will be a no study day right so if you are planning to give on 30th 
october 31st of october then you should not uh, read anything i would say from 29th evening you should have a sound sleep mm. on front, mm. i mean let's say thursday night so that your mind mm. mind will uh, you know uh, 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 a bit relax and on friday mm. you should not even know where is my book right if you even don't know the meaning of rto and rpo don't try to google it for so you should believe everything what you did during your whatever the period of preparation 60 or 90 days now since mm-hmm. your exam is on uh, uh, is at at 9 am and you need to wake up at 6 i would say today is 17 at least from uh, uh, let's say 22nd or 3rd or 23rd start practicing uh, maybe for 10 minutes or 15 minutes you just wake up at 7 or 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 5 or 5:30 or 6 i mean the same schedule what you are going to follow that day hmm. maybe later on if you find okay. uh, if you find tired you may go and sleep but at least your body should know hmm. that you 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 okay. may uh, you may uh, wake up early also so accordingly your mind hmm. will prepare you number 1 number 2 hmm. when you are traveling uh, you can have cert, uh, certain uh, you know drinks i mean you can have any you know juice or something water and don't try to uh, you know read anything inside the car i mean if you are going by car to the uh, uh, to the center two and a half hour yeah yeah just uh-huh. relax don't think anything about after effects of the exam if you pass it out what happen your life will be changed or something what happen if you not or something don't know uh-huh. just think of any funny thing happen in your family or any what in any place just try to uh, uh, divert your mind it doesn't mean you uh, okay. uh, you you watch and please don't watch don't watch any web series i i precisely mentioning especially there is a web series coming on 23rd please don't watch i am saying because the problem of these web series is these web series are giving a a a, a mind kind of what do you say what happened next kind of a feeling so that makes mm. your mind a bit more cautious more alert which and when it's not required right so that's why okay. in this time your mind should alert only when it see any question otherwise it should relax don't watch any uh, any web series which or anything which makes your mind uh, uh, give attention more your attention should be on exam only so these are the things which i personally follow mm-hmm. and, and and in fact okay. my um, i mean uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, when i was giving exam it was like uh, uh, after uh, let's say two two days i was seeing very first question then my mind said hey this is something which i know after two days i took two days of complete hmm. break for my exam so everything whatever i have learned during my uh, 50 53 days of studies i i, I totally believe on that yes th- th- those are sufficient Hi Preeta how are you thanks for joining Important uh, just give me a sec uh, Prashant I'm just finding out Mhm Hi Preeta Krishnan here sorry i i pita miss you sorry type rithik roshan here okay so prashant if you can see the page number 25 i mean the very first page of chapter number 1 uh is written uh on fourth para next a road map is created to identify the specific need to achieve the objective so if you have any doubt uh, just a... yeah 
Okay. Yeah, I'm not 25 now. Okay. Okay. This is a, basically this is a this is a first page of uh, 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 chapter number one, section two content. Mm -hmm. Now here, if you can see, okay. a fourth paragraph is written. Next, a roadmap is created to identify the specific need to achieve the objective. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, this roadmap is basically nothing but your uh, understanding of your current and uh, desired uh, a desired level, what has been mentioned in the governance. So this first paragraph okay. or, or, or let's say this first half of the page, half of the page, not full page. Hmm. You please read one or two, hmm. uh, two times more because see, on the first paragraph is written, governance is broadly defined as a rule that run the organization and this include policies so mm. here you can find the meaning of governance and yeah. also in the last paragraph you can see information security governance need to integrate it with the overall enterprise governance structure to ensure that organization goals are supported by the information security program mm. this is just i i mentioned uh, mm. that uh, whatever the solution you are proposing that should be Integrated with the existing uh, existing information security governance. So please so, uh, re read this first first half page at least. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. Okay. So what one more thing to report. So after when there is a business objectives and vision and everything decide the first thing is uh, the. Um, IT governance, okay, uh, IT strategy uh, or the information security strategy and the information security strategy uh, to be uh, implemented via governance and for for on further to the governance, uh, you will go and uh, uh, think of information security programs uh, to achieve that. Is that the current flow? Because I'm okay. trying to visualize the things. Which... Yes, 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 yes. Just, just give me a second, just give me a second. Just give me Somebody's calling me. Hello. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the correct flow. The addition. I just want to add one more point is that for execution of this information security mm. program, you should uh, you should understand mm. the current uh, state uh, and the desired state. And based on that, you can find the gap analysis, create a roadmap, and roadmap includes certain milestone. Milestone should be uh, the small, uh, a small objective based on what you discuss in our uh, strategy. And uh, 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 as soon as you achieve the milestone, you, uh, you, I mean, whatever, if, if meeting or no, you need to report that to management. Mm. So these are the yeah. small okay. things here. So, but your flow is correct. Good, good. <laughs> because I was. Um... Mm. Uh, I'm finding it a bit difficult to get the flow settled. So I've referred a couple of things on the Google as well to get the things right, which come uh, comes after what, because there is a uh, close relation to each other, uh, which, which I was trying to understand for me in a better way. So I have prepared some pyramid. I will share you on the WhatsApp that uh, this is what I prepared uh, from the all-in-one. I think then the understanding should come. Okay, so this is the browser I am searching. I, ju I just uh, opened my playlist. This okay. See, this is the one of the link. What is the, uh, what are the business goals and objective? This is one. Mm. Uh, let me see if I can paste. Okay. I'm actually, this is the first time I'm doing on uh, uh, this guy, I'm in mean, a Zoom. So let me Zoom. see. Okay. Uh, where I can see the chat, chat window. Okay. Okay, I can see. Okay, so I just shared one link. Okay. Uh, uh, this one and uh, you understand Hindi also because my couple of few videos are in Hindi also. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, no, no. I'm actually Maharashtrian, so Hindi very well. Huh. Okay, that's fine. Okay. 
and uh, if you i mean see if time permits you can go through this uh, do you know task and knowledge statement because this is something i explain very in very detail let me just try to play one of them domain one uh, i i gone through the, some of from that domain one uh, uh, shailend uh, okay that's fine it was nice okay and i gone to this also uh, the controls detective prevent to that video also i gone through yeah 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 theek hai yeah that's fine so see uh, okay are you able to see this screen now uh, i am showing yeah, an yeah. okay so here i am putting all the videos in one place i will share this excel with you so probably if you have any doubt you can just no, I, i have that i think i think you shared me earlier so i have this Achha. excel Okay, okay. Then it's fine. So probably in uh, my initial video, I, I na, followed the same from. Acha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. Sorry. No, I have this Excel, or I think uh, you given me a link earlier, and that that is the reason I got to reach out to few of videos which I mentioned about the controls and some another uh, topic, which was very much helpful uh, about yeah. the roles and responsibilities. But this particular things I was not find it very clearly in CISM book in a one. table or diagrammatic representation so it was always uh, my mind was uh, not clear that uh, how they fit and how they come in order uh, so that was the one actually uh, you know what i mean ask. i would say that is uh, actually that mm-hmm. is good that you know what you don't know mm-hmm. that is a that is a biggest mm-hmm. thing i mean because sometimes we never know or, or it's very late for us to understand that uh, Uh, uh actually there is something which uh, which i am not very sure so that is good you i mean that's why the very mm. first thing i said thank you so much you have asked this question because people no, normally think they are they they know but uh, somehow there is a confusion so uh, maybe you can see this uh, row uh, row, uh, row number 23 uh, mm. what are the business goals and objective i think here i mentioned about uh, strategy Maybe if you get a chance, you can see. Okay, fine. I will. I will browse it today. Yeah. I, I will browse it today because I think these two weeks are I have allocated to whatever best I can study uh, for this. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so, so shall I have one last thing before uh, maybe I take and you are longer time. Yeah. No, no, that's fine. Yes, I, I, yeah, I was also about to finish. See, uh, just my one thing. Uh, have you completed the ISM review manual once? Complete end to end. Yeah, yeah. One to one uh, completed. Uh, one even I'm in a se- second reading as well right now uh, of CSM manual with very closer look of each topic because after I finish one ma- mod- entire manual m- module, I gone through uh, that thousand question bank from CSM and then I relate that okay there are certain things which I missing. So I'm now I'm covering that which I marked there in the CSM manual more closer. Uh, so i think i'm getting a you know two two step down in detail to understand and relate uh, but otherwise conceptually i'm clear but uh, you know how the exam question come up uh, that create a lot of confusion in your mind because everything is in your plate and then you you uh, uh, you mind tend to pick up some wrong uh, wrong option from that so uh, and getting it more closer uh, to the to the option based on the question otherwise conceptually i think i have i have a good really good idea and isaka okay. chapter mumbai helped uh, to make that concept clear but okay. uh, you know there is an always a uh, mind <laughs> and um, uh, because it is a big time exam so i wanted to be very sure <laughs> that i would play with my thought so that that's all i mean uh, first of all i mean uh, uh, it's awesome I mean, uh, if you are believing, mm. is awesome. I mean, that means you are good to go. That I'm really very happy. See, I personally believe mm. nobody, whosoever is paying for that much amount to, for any certification, is not preparing. The problem or the major role which sometimes play mm. uh, uh, while, while while giving the exam is how much you are active. that time how much your mind is responding that time that is utmost important okay 
so the only way what i find is whatever your schedule you may going to have that day start doing as soon as possible mm-hmm. probably probably a one week start sitting four hour i am saying mm-hmm. not four hour maybe you can sit for uh, let's say five to six hour because a uh, four hour may give you a cut to cut experience no you need to have a six hours of sitting experience which include uh, uh, maybe you are thirsty maybe you are uh, uh, tiring you maybe you are uh, feeling fatigue or something or uh, maybe you are uh, 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 what do you say uh, uh, hungry and all so those things should be do uh, should be uh, uh, started early and uh, uh, one more important point uh, while giving the exam if you find this is my 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 practice if you if you find any question which you think uh, uh, is confusing so probably in that case you may spend 10 more second and try to focus hmm. in a single direction in the sense yes this option is correct i mean i'm sure this option has to be correct and just mark it and go ahead next once you come back just leave that option and think why a b and d is i need to find out between a b and d right mm. and if you are convinced no yaar a b and d is at all not at all possible then of course you are double checking your c answer mm. okay understood i mean so that's why you you are you are trouble shooting or you are trying to solve question two different ways first way you tried your normal practice you just go through the question find out the answer and you are finding hey i am not sure then based on your best understanding you may spend 10 more second and uh, mark it and move ahead and so that question is actually qualified for flagging because you want to revisit and once you are revisiting don't see that that c option whatever you select just try to find out the best solution between a b and d and if in case you find any best solution let's say a also then see why i selected c earlier and how i am selecting a then here your mind comes in active role they will say no this question is saying this that's why it's a then another mind say no this question is saying this then they see then you can find it out two different <laughs> angle and that may help you to solve and believe me four hours is is sufficient more than sufficient believe me i mean i have uh, uh, discussed this i don't know so many students so many aspirants not students aspirants and not even a single person is saying that this is tough i mean four hours is 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 not uh, sufficient time four hours is and one more thing i i just forget that i used to practice uh, it was my luck i mean somehow uh, i don't know wh- how it's happened that uh, 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 i was thinking that there are 200 questions are coming in, in in the exam though it was it was 150 only but i don't know how it set in my mind that there are 200 questions i need to solve in 400 uh, in in 4 hours so whenever i uh, whenever i was doing any mock i always try to solve 200 question in in 4 hours and only 2 to 3 days back i got to know before my exam that only 150 questions are there and i was very happy that i am able to crack 200 <laughs> questions and that to uh, 10 15 minutes or uh, 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 or 30 minutes in uh, before then if it is 150 then of course i will easily do in 400 uh, in 4 hours so you can do that also i mean if it's okay. if it's if time allows Yeah, try to, yeah. try to yeah, solve sure. 200 questions sit for more than 4 hour that's it okay good all right thank you so much for your valuable guidance uh... no problem prashant thank you so much for joining the session and uh, it's all pleasure of mine just uh, uh, go ahead and uh, feel free to uh, contact me maybe i will conduct some more sessions maybe some more participants uh, join and then uh, uh we can uh, celebrate on uh, probably whenever you are giving the exam okay sure sure yeah? i'll let you know thank you so much okay thanks yeah. for the time bye 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 and take care